Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I'm excited to show you one of our newest exports, Java Effects. And we're going to do this quickly and easily. So be sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for new and upcoming videos. And ensure if you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comment sections. We'll ensure that we answer them as quickly as possible. So let's jump right in. So we have our design here. Uh, there's a couple of things new that we have with Java Effects. We have our FXML UI. Um, I mean, like you could go to it. Let's just export right away and let's test our first uh, JavaFX app. So we want to export while this is running. We can just open NetBeams. Let's save our file. Let's just extract our files really quick. Go back to NetBeans and let's open our project. And you should see your project list directly. Now it's great to have scene builder because that way you can actually preview uh, your design before building. But so let's take a quick look at how our setup is for Java effects. You'll see that the packaging and this is a typical package that we have for all environments, which is export kit dot the application. So Figma in this case, uh, we have our app and we have our controller. If we look within our resources will have our FXML. So let's just take a look at the app really quick. Now this is our default. What this will do is this will just give you a basic setting to test the application. You're likely going to have to do something a bit more complex. Our controllers will instantiate each individual element from your design so it just makes it quick and easy to reference objects now it's very important that you name your elements as you can see vector 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 that's not going to mean much to a developer so you should name your elements accordingly otherwise you're going to get a lot of complaints so if we take a look at the fxml we can just open scene builder but let's take a look at the xml afterwards so you can see it works perfect in scene builder let's it really is XML. But. And this is how our content will look for our code. So let's just test this really quick. So we have our first page. Let's go and let's do a little more. Now we have prototypes that we've assigned to each section and element. So let's just actually export all pages and let's test our prototypes. So we're going to ensure that our document info has the correct name that we're looking for, which is the name of our first page. Otherwise, in many environments, HTML environments, it doesn't matter. But when you're using coding environments such as Android, Java, iOS, you need to ensure that you have the correct paths and names. And you should see now that we have our new controllers and our new FXML pages. Let's just run this. Now, if you get an error in NetBeans that it can't find a particular path, uh, you can just simply restart NetBeans. It's a very common error. Let's test our navigation. So you can see we're able to navigate each page. Now, you'll see that this looks kind of off. This is probably the SVG. We could have just simply rendered this as an image. Uh, but this is just an example to show how quickly we can have an application that's running. Now, the next step that we're going to want to do is to create our responsive screens. Let's go with web. Uh, covers 1900. Let's maybe make a 2000 also. Why not? OK, so now that we have our responsive screens, Let's go ahead and export our entire application. Let's simply copy over the files. Now you'll see that we have brand new layouts that are basically in essence uh, reflective of our designs that we did for our screens, but we still have the same controllers. If we look at the app, what the app will do is it will actually switch based on the size of the screen. So you don't need to worry about what uh, screen is in essence in use. So let's go ahead and let's test. Now you'll see that we can still navigate our app, but our app is also now fully responsive. And of course, this is export kit, so we could have changed the design to reflect what we wanted it to be at a particular size. 
Uh, this is actually extremely easy. You just change the design <laughs> and it will remap. But I did the responsive screens very quickly just to illustrate to you how easy it is to get a responsive application that's working for JavaFX from your Figma design with little to no effort. Enjoy.